Hi, I'm Dr. Doom, and today we're going to discuss COX-2 inhibitors. Now, COX-2 inhibitors, there was three, Celebrex, Vioxx, and Bextro. And the big push for these three drugs was no gastrointestinal pain that's been so commonly associated with rheumatic pain um, treatment protocol. Now, Im immediately after the original study was done with Celebrex at the Osteopathic School of Medicine, where they identified, at that time, heart-related problems, but nothing was really done about it. The drug was released, you know, uh, about seven or eight years ago, Celebrex was, and in the first 90 days, they had like 15 to 20 cases of intense gastrointestinal bleeding. Following, the, following that, uh, later on, Bextra and Biox were introduced, and then they were, and then there's now numerous lawsuits about heart attacks that have associated with these drugs. People have had, there people have had, uh, it's been found that if a person is hypertensive, it quadruples your risk of heart attack. Now, it's very um, scary to me that hypertensive patients on two or three different pain medication on two different um, heart blood pressure uh, medications are still being prescribed Celebrex. Bextra and Vioxx have been taken off the market. But coincidentally, Celebrex, which the original study was done on, is still available, you'll still, have, still see it advertised, and it's still prescribed. And, you know, they're saying that Celebrex it doesn't react the same as Vioxx and Bextra, although it's a very same uh, class of drug. It's a COX-2 inhibitor. So people should be aware that if you're hypertensive and you're being prescribed 25 to 50 milligrams of Celebrex a day for arthritic or for arthritic pain, um, you should be aware that you have the potential for some serious side effects with that medication and maybe ask your doctor about it. This is Dr. Doom.